is Alan from alan-turner.net. Uh, welcome to the short video about how to automate your Twitter um, posting process from your blog. Uh, it's been something that I've been struggling with quite a while um, over the last couple of months, last couple of weeks. I'm trying to get my blog contest, my blog posts um, that I do um, automatically tweeted on uh, my Twitter account. Um, I've tried various different bits of software, bits of add-ons, tools. None of them have really worked for me. Um, and I spent quite a bit of time trying to research and find out what does work, what can work. I, I looked at the possibility of, of purchasing uh, various bits of software and other things. But none of them, uh, nothing that I could find would enable me to be able to uh, do a blog post um, publish it and have it appear on my Twitter account. Um, a lot of the software out there is um, specific to your personal computer or your Mac, whatever system you're using. And if your Mac or your PC isn't on, the software doesn't work. Um, and I couldn't find anything that was web-based that I could that update that I you know that I wasn't paying thirty dollars a month for or something similar to that. Um, I didn't have a problem buying something once off. I had to pay 50, 70, 100 dollars, didn't matter. But I wanted something that I could buy once or not have a monthly fee, and I couldn't find anything. So a little bit of research, a little bit of searching around. Um, free option that works fantastically well is Google FeedBurner. Um, now, if you don't have a FeedBurner account, go and sign up for it. Um, it's feedburner.google.com. Um, you can sign up for one. And you can link your feeds from your um, that that runs your feeds basically. But the other the other aspect of the of a feed burner account is that you can link your Twitter account to your blog. You have to burn the feed, um, which you'll do. But you can link your Twitter account to it. Now I've already logged in to my feed burner account um, on here. I've named it Alan Turner's official blog, which is what my site is called. So when I log in, uh, my username and password, I I come into this page. Now, if I click on this, <clears throat> what I'm going to go to is the back end of the FeedBurner account. And you'll see here there are several tabs on this account. Analyze, optimize, publicize, monetize, etc. What you want to select is the publicize tab. And you'll see on the left here, there's a menu on the left, and one of the options on the menu is socialize. That's the one you want to select. Now, this gives you various options here. And you'll see here that you can add a Twitter account. You can see I've already got my Twitter account uploaded in here. If I'm selecting it, if, if you're new to this, when you first log in, it's not going to have any account here. So you want to add one. It's just a simple click the button, and it will take you to Twitter API. An application you enter your username your email and your password for Twitter and you select the allow button that will then authorize FeedBurner to use or to post to your Twitter account and it'll appear here now you can do this in several ways you can do post content with title only title and body body only uh, include a link leave room for retweets uh, you can create hashtags now the other one is additional text uh, you can put in here from my blog a new blog post, my blog post, uh, blog content, new blog content, you can put whatever you want in there and that will appear either at the beginning or at the end of the post um, on your Twitter account when it goes through. Um, you can post up to five new items per feed, you can order your items by a published date, by the order in the feed, uh, you can use keyword filter if you want, and you enter there and it will give you further options down here. I prefer to leave things um, as simple as you possibly can. Um, it's uh, it's just easier. I just keep it simple, stupid, basically. Um, is is the sort of uh, view on it for me. If you go right down to the end um, here, you've got how it will appear. Uh, it'll come through on your Twitter account from my blog uh, with the title of your new blog post with the link uh, which has been shortened. Um, now at the bottom of this, 
and go all the way down to the bottom of this, you'll see there is a save button. You need to select the save button, but it is a two-step process. One says deactivate here because I've already activated the account. You need to save and then you need to activate the account. Don't save and exit because then it won't work. You must save and then activate. And then it's as simple as that. And every time you do a blog post thereafter, um, it will automatically uh, be tweeted on your Twitter account. It, it's very simple, very straightforward, and it's free. So I hope you've enjoyed this post. If you have, please leave me a comment uh, down below. Um, uh, thank you very much for watching. Cheers.